Dear viewers, welcome to the YouTube channel H2O Chemistry. So, in our last few videos, we have been watching the book back exercise of the lesson atoms and molecules. In this video, I am going to continue with that. I am going to start the portion called Long Answers. Long Answers. The first question given in this session is Calculate the number of water molecule present in one drop of water which weighs 0 0.5. 18 grams exactly which the question the given detail is the gram of water is given that means the weight of water is given so what we know the idea is gram atomic mass or gram molecular mass of a substance is equal to one mole which contains 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23 particles which occupies 22.4 liters at stp if it is a gas this is a concept we know, right? So, what they have given? They have given weight of weight of one drop of water they have given. One drop of water is equal to 0 0.18 grams, right? So, if it is so, this weight, what is the first step in calculating number of water molecules, number of molecules? The given detail should be converted into moles. And then if you multiply with the Avogadro number, we get the number of molecules. Very simple idea. So how do you convert the given data, that means the mass of a substance or a weight of substance into number of moles? Very simple. We have already learned the topic that is number of moles is equal to given mass so of a substance divided by water is a molecule so it is a gram molecular mass so of a substance right so it is a water so instead of the substance we can write water now what is the weight of a substance given 0 0.18 grams okay what is a gram molecular mass of water that is another important question my dear children so let us see how to calculate the molecular mass. So gram molecular mass of water, right? Water is, uh, is equal to how many hydrogen we have? Two. Two into atomic mass of hydrogen is one. Plus how many oxygen we have? One. Into atomic mass of oxygen is 16. So two into one, two plus 1 into 16, 16. So the answer is exactly 18 grams, right? Because it's expressed in grams. So let me substitute this value in the equation that is uh, here 18 grams, right? Gram, gram get cancelled. So let me see how to write this. So I am going to convert this into a whole number, it is a fractional number. So what I need to do is, I need to multiply 100 by 100. If I multiply this, right, if I multiply this, 18 divided by 18 into 100. So if I cut this, I have got the value, what I got, the value is 1 by 100, that means 1 by 10 to the power of 2, am I right? is equal to 10 to the power of minus 2 or 0 0.01 moles. Am I right? So this is an answer my dear children. Why do I want to write like this? Because to do the to do the further calculations, this value would be very helpful. That's the reason I have written like this. Now, let us go to the uh, next calculation that is number of water molecules. Right? That's what the question asked in the um, portion. So let me write the number of uh, uh, water molecules, number of water molecules in one drop of water is equal to, how do you calculate? Yes, the number of moles, number of moles into Avogadro number we want to multiply. So what is the number of moles we have calculated my dear children? From this we can easily find 10 to the power of minus 2 moles or 0 0.01, right? So for 
doing calculus in easier so let me substitute 10 to the power of minus 2 into our gate row number is 6.023 in 10 to the power of 23 right so now 10 to the power the power the base is same so power we can add it 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23 minus 2 the answer is 6.023 into 10 to the power of minus 21 molecules right so therefore 0 0.8 grams of water or one drop of water contains right 6.023 into 10 to the power of 21 water molecules so i think the idea is very clear my dear children so it should be very easy if you learn like this step by step procedure is very important if you like this video subscribe and click the bell button to get the notification instantly like comment and share to your friends let them learn thank you so much